hello guys welcome to another vlog i really hope no one comes into this car park now and sees me just talking to myself but i've just reversed into a space next to a massive wall and a car i'm really proud of myself so i am following this vlog on from the last vlog which was a very strange vlog if you watch that thanks and i'm sorry <laughs> but i had just gone and got my hand tattooed it is currently the next day i love it so so much and i'm about to get the other side done because i'm insane i didn't realize how much i used because this is my dominant hand i didn't realize how much i used that hand until i have to avoid using it <laughs> for it to heal but anyway i thought i would just bring you guys along with me it's probably going to be a short one because i am going to be going into norwich right now i am in norwich but it's it's going to be busy because christmas is next week so i probably won't vlog much but yeah i'm very excited so this one was free-handed and i love it i was so so scared because i've never had one free-handed before but obviously she drew it on showed me and and it was beautiful i absolutely loved it and today i'm being done by another artist and she's freehanding it as well i'm very scared she did actually cancel this morning because sadly her full day session and person cancelled so it basically wasn't worth her coming in for the sakes of my tattoo if you are self-employed or you understand how paying for like your chair renting your space works you'll understand that so i was like oh no it's fine don't worry if i have to wait till next year it's fine and then she re-emailed me saying i'm so sorry to mess you around my client from yesterday will take today's session so yeah we'll we'll get it done i was like thank you so much so i set off nice and early because traffic at the minute's horrendous getting into norwich so it took me over an hour to get here yesterday it's usually max a 40 minute drive i think it's took me about 40 50 minutes today i still have a short amount of time so i'm gonna walk over and go get tattooed again i'm excited i'm scared but let's go Look at the same. <laughs> I've just got back to my car, all done, all wrapped up. It's it's spicy. <laughs> so my thumb that's like you can somewhat see it poking out there. Very spicy. It's stinging quite a bit because obviously your thumb joint you use it a lot. I had a slight bit more of a disaster. I was starving. So as soon as I left the studio, oh, I had a great experience by the way. <laughs> she was amazing. Yeah, and there was another guy tattooing. He was really funny. We had Twilight on. It was amazing. <laughs> it was really cool, really chilled. Love it. I will obviously show it when I, I might have already showed it i don't really know but i was starving and because i have issues with my sugar levels i was like i'm gonna i need to get some food first place i saw was greg's usually when i'm in norwich i'll go to like an independent coffee shop or whatever but i was like i'm starving it's quick it's cheap let's go in there i don't know why i didn't think of this especially because i just had this conversation with charlotte the tattoo artist about me being allergic to cranberries and a lot of festive baits and festive food has cranberries in it i don't know why i didn't think i think because i was like i need to get food in my system right now rushed in got a salted caramel latte which was really good i got my jammy donut which i'm gonna save for later and i got the vegan festive bake started eating it luckily i only had one bat one or two bites and i was like it's quite sweet this it, it's nice but it's quite sweet looked down saw red like berry red and was like that's gonna be frigging cranberries isn't it quickly googled what's in their festive bakes because i would already started like walking away yeah cranberries i was like so yeah i obviously panicked because i was like i'm in the middle of town i need to head home i can't have an allergic reaction right now this is not good <laughs> i don't have is it anaphylactic where you like you, you can't breathe luckily i've never had a bad allergy like that but i thought i can't go and sit in the car in case i do have a bad reaction and i'm gonna it's gonna come out one way or another so i thought i need to rush to another place so i don't know why I, but i rushed because all the street food places around were me and i was like i don't even know what to do so i ran inside this place and there was a subway so i've just inhaled a sub because i don't know if you're supposed to do this but it works for me where i basically if i like drink loads which i have done or eat loads get other stuff in my system it sometimes like cancels it out i don't know how it works but it's it sometimes works for me and so far i'm okay i started sweating and going really hot really bad so i'm eating this subway and i was burning up i feel a little bit itchy but i'm fine and my mouth's a little bit numb my tongue's a little bit numb but apart from that i'm okay so i hopefully nipped it in the bud always a fun time always a fun time but now i feel okay i, th I think i'm gonna be okay <laughs> 
<laughs> and my car parking's about to run out so my body hates me right now three tattoos in the space of a few days and now an allergic reaction <laughs> love that but i'm actually just going to nip into Deerham, which is one of the towns that's near my house on the way home but <coughs> that's hurt my throat anyway i've got to go do a food shop and i have to nip into the pet shop to grab some other bits but yeah i'm really happy with it it feels fine i hate this bit where it's all clean filmed and sweaty and annoying especially because it's your hand and you don't realize how much you use your hand but yeah i love it i think it's absolutely stunning she's done such a nice job because after looking at her work and as soon as she started i was like yeah i trust you go to town have a bit of freedom do what you want and the flowers i love but i'll probably talk about this when i'm at home i've cleaned it up and stuff but yeah really really happy with it i'll speak to you guys in a bit so when i got home i just took off the cling film let it air out let it dry a little bit so it's not all sweaty and gross but as you can see there's a lot of the stencil marks there left over but i absolutely love it and this is just it in a different light all three of them i'm so happy with them but i still haven't cleaned it down yet because i just wanted to let it air out for a bit If you can hear my bathroom fan, please ignore it, but this is it. I've literally just given it a clean. I love it so much. You can see, obviously, the pen marks, the yellow and the purple. I can't get them off, and obviously, I can't scrub the hell out of my skin because, obviously, there's a tattoo there, but it's a little bit spicy. It just feels a bit tight, that's all. So I'm just going to let it dry because I've just cleaned it. Let it dry for a bit, and then I'm going to put some cream on it, and my other ones could do some cream. This one's got all crunchy, but <laughs> you can see... Oh no, you can't really see, but this one was bruised. But yeah, I'm so happy with them. And as you can tell, I like vines and leaves. You'd never guess. You'd never guess. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love it. So happy with it. Another gross lighting. I've put my fringe up as well, but that is going to be everything for this little vlog. It was only a little one, but thank you so much for watching. I have no idea when this is going up, but if it's Christmas, happy Christmas. If it's not, I hope you have a good time. Hope you have a good December if you don't celebrate it and all that jazz. Stay safe, all that whatever. But thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.